Right, and there you see it's all done. So now that's um, telling you that there's some other stuff here. Voltage too low for burning, reliable flash burning. Well, I'm sorry, 15.1518 volt is plenty of voltage for that, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Um, it has got some other functions here that you can check in there. We're not going to worry about that. All right, so we've done that now. Simply going to close that. And uh, I'm going to reload Megatune there. And in this case, that should be the code. And here you can see it's not particularly happy about it. That's all right. So we go back into our communications. Make sure it's COM3. And this is usually happens for the first time, which is no problem. Just retest it again. And then we'll just go bring it back online. And if it's all worked out well, we would have just flashed it down to the new version of software. Now in the previous video, you guys would have noticed that when I did this, um, we set up a vehicle. But now, that vehicle that we fitted before is no longer going to work, is it? So, I'll restart Megatune again. And we go down to the old YouTube car that we set up last time. And you see it won't work. So this is a bit of a problem now. So how do we get that to work? Well, quite simple. Go in there, simply open it on one that we know will work. Uh, see if we can just make it go straight online again. Will it do it? Uh, yeah, it will. And to change it, we're just going to go back to the configurator. Go back to the YouTube car. Open up settings. Go to code variant. And we're going to change this one to... Uh, oh, I think it was this one from memory. File, save, and then run Megatune. And with a bit of luck, it will restart it, and voila. There we go. Now, did it open the right vehicle? Uh, no, because look at all of this is wrong. So we're just going to reopen it again on the slower method. Let's see if we open it from there. There we go. That's looking a bit better. And we'll have to check our communication settings again. Test it. Test it again. Yeah, that's good. And bring it online. And then in theory, all of this should be working. And there you go. Now this is just because it's not quite the right file. Um, and it can cause a serious problem. But what we can do is we can change that by just loading the right file again. Um, and I think, well, actually, maybe I should just go through that right now and do that again for you guys in any way. Sometimes it can be a bit of a fiddly thing to sort out. See, I haven't done it that often, so sometimes you forget some of the small things here. Um... Let's just try that one. Now you'll notice that I leave the mistakes in here. Well, it's because I want to show that I'm also a human. And sometimes I make a mistake as well. So let's try that again. Going there and there. Oh, I didn't like that either. Okay, well, well we don't use that. Oh, go away. Yes, do that. I've always had this a bit of a problem with this, so sometimes I just went and uh, just renamed this folder, just copy it and rename it. Um, actually, maybe what I will do is I will show you how I did that. Um, so to do that, it's actually felt quite simple. Uh, go into my computer, go into here, and program files, and we're going to make a squirt. So what we can do is we take this this folder here. And we copy it. All right? And right here we paste it. So that means there's going to be two of them now. There we go. Except we're going to rename this one now. Um, 
I'll just go to YouTube car mod into that. Now I'm only doing this because I've, I've always found that sometimes you have to sit there for hours trying to work out which one. This is by far the simplest way. So if we now go and restart this here. There she is. Yes, go for it. We'll fix this communication problem for it pretty quickly. And we'll just start them up again. And there you go. All sorted. Um, now we can change all of this to values that we understand simply by going to configurator and we can just simply go and alter them down here. That's one of the things that I like to change um, and I think that's all we're going to change for today on this one. Save it, run make a tune and in theory it'll restart it up again, bring it back online and Hopefully it hasn't changed the COM port. And there you go. So that's it for tonight. Uh, I hope this has helped some of you guys. Uh, the next one video I'll try and start going through some of these um, basic settings and what they are. I have actually got a car running on this firmware. Um, it's running quite well. Um, and I'll show you guys some of the stuff that we've got on there. Um, that's it for tonight. Um, catch you guys later.